Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be updating your iPhone iPad up touch to the latest iOS. So let's get started. Go right into your settings. In your settings, you're going to see your first option where it's going to say your name or your device's name. Go right into there and make a backup. That's just in case something bad happens. You can also make a backup in your computer using iTunes on PC or Finder on Mac. Anyways, once you guys have done that, you can scroll down and just go right into general. Under general, you will see the second option where it says software update. After software update, you will see the option to download and install. Some of you may only see the options to install and that depends on your settings. Maybe you have your settings on your iPhone, iPad or touch to download the update but not install it. So that's why you might only see the option to install and not download. Now this is a fairly small update, it's only 203 megabytes well almost 204 megabytes so it's gonna run pretty fast even if you guys have slow internet speed just make sure you guys have at least 50 percent of your battery and right now let's go on and tap on downloading install if you have a passcode it will ask you for one after you put that in it's just gonna start the downloading progress after that it's gonna start installing it's very important that your ipad iphone ipad touch does not turn off while it's installing the update. When it's downloading it, it's not a big deal. However, if you guys run into an error, just use your computer and use iTunes in order to restore your iPhone, iPad, or touch. Even if you're having problems not getting the update, for example, just hook it up to your computer and that way you guys can make the backup plus make any updates necessary. Again, you guys can use iTunes on PC or Finder on Mac in order to do this. Right now, this update will run really fast so you don't have to really make too much time in order to do this. At this point in time, you could leave your iPhone iPad Touch just to do its thing. I would have it hooked up to some electricity even if you do have 50% of your battery because with older devices, the battery is not 100% and that way it might drain a little bit faster than newer devices. So that's why I always suggest having hooked up to some electricity, although you might be, let's say, at 90% of your battery. I would still hook it up and just leave it charging and let it do its update. Now, if you have an older iDevice and you don't see even iOS 14, you're not there just yet, maybe you're stuck in iOS 9 or something like that with an iPad 2, for example, that's stuck in, iPad, in iOS 9, well, there's really no way to update it to iOS 14. And that's because your iPad would run way too slow if it actually made it up to there. So that's why all iPads, all iPhones do have a cutoff date for iOS updates. And that's only after a few years of use. So they might be very very old right now and that's why you cannot install the latest iOS. You might notice that they run even slower at the moment as well. However if you're watching this video because you're trying to install some apps that are not compatible with your older iOS, I do have a video that shows you how to get around that problem so make sure to check that out in my channel. Alright after just maybe two or four minutes you should have been done the download process and then you should see this install now so let's just tap on install now we will see our iPhone turning off then Apple logo and a loading bar so just after five to ten minutes you should be done we can go ahead and swipe up it might ask you for a passcode if you have one and we can double check if everything went okay so let's go right into settings go down general software update and from here we should see that it's up to date and we are all done anyways if you guys have any comments questions you guys can write down here in the comments area don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you